The main antagonist in Ace Combat 7 is this old dude who fights the Sukhoi Terry to train the Rouge's drones. Given that he is so old, I have seen lots of people asking what he was doing before the events of Ace Combat 7. He even mentions that he has shot down several aces in the past, so could he have been involved in Ace Combat 4 or other conflicts? So in this video, I'll be covering the story behind Mihai. And by the way, I am talking about Mihai, Dimitri, Margarita, Cornelius, Leopold, Blanca, Caro, Aeon, Ignatius, Raphael, Maria, Nikita, Arkanj, Shilaji. We have to be very specific here. Now I know his name became kind of a meme, but that's actually very realistic because we're dealing with the nobility. That's right, Mihai, Dimitri, Margarita, Cornelius, Leopold, Blanca, Caro. Okay, I'll stop. I'll just call him Mihai from now. Continuing on. That is because Mihai belongs to the royal family from the Grand Duchy of Shilaji, a small nation in the western part of the continent of Yuzhia. It's important for me to point out that we only have very limited information about Shilaji, but we do know that there was a revolution there to bring down the monarchy sometime in the 70s or 80s. During this revolution, which apparently was very violent, a close friend of Mihai betrayed him and shot him on the face. Of course, Mihai survived, but as a result of this encounter, he got a scar on his left cheek. The revolution was successful and the Shilajian royal family lost its power. Taking advantage of the political instability, the Kingdom of Eruja invaded and annexed Shilaji. In order to try to bring back stability to Shilaji, the royal family was able to keep their status, but ultimately the Erujian king was still the one who ruled the land. At that time, the kingdom of Eruja was very aggressive and they were pursuing an expansionist policy. Other than Shilaji, the Republic of Voslaj was also annexed by Eruja. But we just don't know how that happened or which one was annexed first. During all these times of conflict and Erujian expansion, probably in the 70s or 80s, Mihai performed an unexpected move. Even though he had a nobility status which exempted him from the Erujian military draft, Mihai chose to enlist and he was later accepted into the Erujian Air Force by order of the Erujian King. Side note, several royal families have a history with military service, but we don't have the information as to if Mihai already had flying experience with the Shilajian Air Force or he started from scratch in the Erujian Air Force. Back to the story, after joining the Erujian military, Mihai became a fighter pilot. But wait, Erujian wasn't happy enough with just annexing Shilaji and Voslaj. They continued waging war. Based on the Aces at War book, we know that Mihai distinguished himself in combat while in the Erujian Air Force and that his last combat mission took place in the year of 1991. Now this time period is interesting because there is no Ace Combat game set prior to 1995, and this is the first time we hear about a conflict in that year. This means that we either have a new war or a series of new wars in the continent of Yuzia that ended in 1991. I say ended because Mihai remained in the Air Force and didn't fly in combat anymore, thus implying the conflict was over. Furthermore, it is believed that it was in this conflict that Eruja lost the war and thanks to pressure from the surrounding nations, it transitioned from being a kingdom to a federal republic, because the victors thought that doing this would stop Eruja from starting new wars in the future. Boy, they were wrong. Even with the transition to a republic, Mihai remained in the Erujian Air Force and eventually became a flight instructor. Needless to say, Mihai was very skilled and was able to teach his abilities to a new generation of pilots. And guess who was one of them? Yellow 13. That's right, Mihai trained the best Erujian fighter pilot in the Eusean Continental War, the one from Ace Combat 4. The Aces at War book mentions that Mihai was actually very surprised by Yellow 13's skills during his training. Yellow 13 was actually so fast and agile that he managed to crash his plane against Mihai's. Not just once, but twice. Now I know what you're thinking, ACF, what do you mean by crashing? How come that is a skill? Basically, from my understanding of the book, Yellow 13 was the only person good enough to keep up with Mihai in close range simulated dogfights, a skill that took Mihai by surprise. And now when I say Yellow 13 crashed twice on Mihai, I don't know how bad these crashes were, they either had to eject or were able to make some emergency landings in the middle of nowhere. But wait, there's more. Mihai was so curious on how Yellow 13 made contact with his plane that he was trying to observe how Yellow 13 was doing it. 
and just to make sure he understood the method, he tried it once and ended up crashing against the yellow 13. So 3 crashes in the air in total. That has to be expensive. The book then becomes vague on Mihai's story, but it is almost certain that he remained in the Erujan Air Force even during the Yuzian Continental War as a flight instructor. I don't have confirmation on this, but it is implied in Ace Combat 7, which states that Mihai spent several hours flying at high altitude. It is also possible that he was a test pilot in the development of the original X2 Wyvern, whose development began in 1998. In the end, what we do know is that he was later transferred to an experimental squadron to participate in a joint research effort between the Erujan Air and Space Administration EASA, and the former Balkan and now Ocean Grander Industries to advance artificial intelligence for their drone program. This was the Sol Squadron and the rest of the story of Mihai, Dimitri, Margarita, Cornelius, Leopold, Blanca, Carol, Aeon, Ignatius, Rafael, Maria, Nikita, Arkan, Shilaji is what you see in Ace Combat 7. And that is it for this video. I know you might have some questions on his past, but that's pretty much all we know so far. If you want to learn more about Ace Combat lore, check my other videos I've made on this topic. You can also find a playlist in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.